what's up everybody welcome to the double chin show what's up guys today we're going to talk about this article that dan found on collectiveevolution.com i i love this because a, a while back we were talking about being happy yes right so the title of this is nine common traits of happy people that they don't actually talk about okay yeah and and i feel like okay a lot of these are true okay mm -hmm. um Anyways, because a lot of times when you're really happy, you don't feel the need to talk about it. Right. Because it's, it's a very, you know, you're happy. Yeah. Right? So the first one, they love themselves for who they are. So I, I really like this one because, you know, me and you talked about as we're getting older, I'm very comfortable with who I am. Yeah. Um, I know myself a lot better. Yeah. I know what my deficiencies are. I know where, what I'm good at. Yeah. And I love the fact that I can assess myself and make myself better as yeah. I go along. So I'm very happy about that yeah you know i i'm no longer uh like worried about what people think of me yeah you know what kind of uh you know like basically i'm not i don't care about what people think of right. me in the way that i used to when i was in my 20s right and even more when i yeah. was in high school and we still get a lot of questions coming into the double chin show and we're going to respond to them um sometime this week. but uh a lot of these questions are still about um people who might have you know uh changed physically now they're you know they're having a tough time like yeah. adjusting and, and, and how to deal with a lot of uh, this is a lot of basically self-image issues right um i agree a lot with this statement love you love if you love who you are mm -hmm. then that gets rid of like half your problems absolutely because a lot of times growing up when you're younger yep. and as you're growing up like most of your problems are about like self-image absolutely and like oh, what people think of me and things absolutely. like that that's like where like 80 percent of your stress comes yeah. from it's like yeah. oh my god uh, so embarrassing today. Exactly. Oh my God, my pants fell out. Uh, <laughs> so horrible. Oh my God. And and also another one is it's not just um, how people think of you, but also like a lot of this is really relevant for Asians, right? It's also what your parents think of you, because I think part of what uh, the stress, the mental stress up until like your twenties, maybe even thirties, is like the stress that your parents put on yeah. you. You know, like your career, also your mate, yeah. also just everything, yeah. right? And so I'm not saying like, don't listen to your parents, but at a certain point, you have to not stop feeling guilty about things and just live your life. In Asian you know? parents, the issue is they don't praise you often. No. They, you know, kind of hit you a little yeah. bit and, yeah. and kick yeah. you while you're down a bit. Yeah. A lot, actually. And it makes you feel like a little self-conscious and uh, right. sometimes have problems adjusting to how you really are right. as you grow older. Right. Uh, number two, see relationships as an extension to rather than the basis of human experience. That's kind of deep. <laughs> uh, well, I, I like this one too because you know when you're when you're younger, a lot of relationships define you. You know, you live for the relationship. Yep. Um, so not surprised to find out. I'm sure for you that I recently started watching another show. It's kind of girly. What uh, is it? Gilmore Girls. Ugh. Okay. Oh, you know, I watched one episode of that. <laughs> That was horrible. Okay. All right. so, that was so horrible. So, oh my god, I'm, I'm on see. I didn't. I'm watched every episode, it's but I'm on, on season now. like seven it's on now. Netflix now. All right, yeah. I'm like pretty much through the whole thing. Yeah. I'm on the last season. I didn't watch every single. So episode. So that little girl grew up from the first she, episode, right? So here, here's the thing with her, and I and I and I watch this, and yes, it's TV, but she's 21. She's had two long-term relationships in high school, and yep. this and the third relationship she has with one of the loves of her life, and she's still. Um, I, I was un, I was I was being told that I was being too harsh on her because mm -hmm. she was 21, mm -hmm. and you know her boyfriend then uh, Logan. She's like so in love with him, and that her relationship really defines her. And I was basically like, "Yo, like you're an adult. Like act like an adult. You know, if it's gonna be a long term thing, it's a I mean a, a long distance thing. Deal with it. You know, and you know my girlfriend was like, "Why is so hard on her?" And I'm like, you know, but then it made me think because you know when I was 21, yeah, when I was 27, yeah, but now we're in our 30s. So now it's definitely um, the relationship has become part of me, but it's not the basis. Right. And that's kind of like. And that makes me happier. Yeah. And a lot of you guys might be in a situation now where you base who you are um, on, the, on a relationship. Um, it gets to a point later in life, I guess, where we are. Yeah. And I feel the same way. Uh, before it was like my whole existence is yeah. to find yes. that person that completes like, me. Mm, you right know what? There. You know what? I don't know if I necessarily agree with finding somebody that completes you like because you are complete yeah. on your own. True. You are 
hundred percent complete. Right. You're looking for somebody that's compatible with you that can, you know, that you guys can share and laugh and fulfill each other in, in ways that support each yeah, other and, in life. Yeah. And but you yourself, you are a hundred percent, you know, you. Yeah. So it, to to some, this is why a lot of people are devastated after a breakup. Yeah. Devastated because yeah. then they're like. I don't even know who I am. I right. don't even know like what I'm. What's right. my point in life? Right. Because my point was us. Right. So that I really like what you said because before it's like you if you're if you're a ball right you saw yourself the your mate as a part of you. So when they leave, you're devastated. Right. But if you're if you're whole and you see the other person as an add-on, but then if it if it doesn't work out, it's merely something that's taken off. But you're still left with yourself. Right. And that could save you a lot of mental in- anguish, and right. you could be happier. So I like that one. Three, embrace change. I love change. Yeah. I love it. It's hard, though, for some people, you know? Yeah, it is. Because here's why. Because people are mm, they're creatures afraid of, of the habits. Un- yeah. And they're afraid of the unknown. Exactly. Yeah. This is why people are afraid to die. Yeah. No one ever knows what happens. Yeah. Um, change is tough in terms of, like, okay, uh, there's a fear factor to it. Yep. But change is often also good. I, yep. But change is yep. often also good. I say because, more than not, it's always good. Yeah. yeah. Because like it actually infuses new experience Absolutely. into your life, which mm-hmm. in life, like we we, we're, we all try to grow and better right. ourselves. And honestly, like I came from a little town in, uh, in middle America and some of my friends are still in that little town in middle America right. and they're happy. That's good. Right. Um, but for me, like I, I couldn't even picture myself no. living no. that life right. because that, okay, there's a mold in right. terms of what life is in middle America. The right. mold is basically uh, high school marriage kids yeah. or high school college marriage kids. Yeah. Uh, so all my friends had their first kid at like 23. Yeah. And now they're on to their like third kid. Third, yeah. So <laughs> uh, it's pretty normal. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's that's how no, life right. is, and and that's nothing wrong with that. Like some people right. choose to live their lives like that because it's comfortable. It's, it is. There's not a lot of change. It's it, comfortable. You know, it's you know, ev- you expect everything that's gonna happen. Right. Right. You know what's gonna happen here, here, here. You got kind of your life planned out, right. and you deal with it. You know. Yeah. But for me, I like you know constant changes my career is changing even this year like so much changes in my life i like it you know what the epitome of that is this is why to me you're you're happier when you embrace it is because you understand that life will present you with unknown things at any given moment right so and so normally what people do is they put up a wall they're like no changing i hate this how do i stop this and what happens is you're unhappy because now you're stressed but if you embrace it, you're essentially a lot more. This is more like the Taoist kind of part yeah. of it, right? Yeah. You're like, I'm going to go with the flow. I'm like, water. So you're happier. Isn't that better? It's better. It is. Number four, celebrate rather than compare themselves to the accomplishments of others. I see you really like this one. You, what, you don't like this one? No, I like it. I, I was just it. wasn't like finger one. pointing excited like you. I like this one because, oh, man, I've seen this too many times. Like, I've seen... Close people around me always um, comment, especially with Chinese people, yeah. okay? Because we, we did we do a lot of s- sketches about this. Chinese parents love to be like, oh, Mike, uh, Jack's par- Jack's kid is a uh, guy that, and you're like, okay, okay. And what that does to you is you start comparing yourself to other people all the time. And you start wanting what they, you know, you start wanting what they have. You start trying to, it's just, it's so bad. Like, this is like, be comfortable with yourself. Like, challenge yourself. Make yourself better, but know that, you know, everybody's path in life is different. This kind of ties in with uh, the whole, like, love yourself for who you are yeah. kind of thing. Like, if you always look to others, look, uh, as a kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty spiritual guy, and yeah. I believe that. We both are. Yeah, we both mm-hmm. are. And uh, I believe in life. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I work hard, but I believe ultimately, ultimately in life, uh, the heavens gives, provides for me, you know, what is what is mine exactly like you know like we're we're, we're both like you know we practice kind of buddhism exactly. philosophies like yep. we believe that if something's ours it's ours yeah, exactly. if something is not ours you know we... no matter how much you fight for it it's not going to be yours exactly so save yourself the misery yeah <laughs> but that's not to say that don't work hard yeah you know work you hard. gotta work hard for it yeah. you can't just sit there yeah exactly work hard in your relationships in yeah. your daily life you know be respectful but that's, that's a good principle you know. to live by like Absolutely. for me like when uh, I was getting out of my last relationship I was thinking I'm like yo you know if we weren't meant to be together like she wasn't meant to be mine then same then, same here yeah then same here. why would why would I like just sob and cry over yeah. something that's, that wasn't supposed to be yeah. mine let's just go pig out and you know get watch over them it. get over it <laughs> number five never dwell in being a victim 
Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, it it kind of goes back to, you know, don't see yourself as a victim because a lot of times you just get, it gets worse and worse. Yeah, because yeah. It, it builds resentment and anger. And here's the thing. Uh, when you have a lot of resentment or anger against somebody else, mm -hmm. ask yourself this one question. How is that benefiting you and, and harming the other person? Yeah. In any way. In any way. In any way. It's not. Yeah. He or she is not feeling your resentment or anger towards right. him or her. So you're just doing stuff to yourself. And you're making yourself miserable. This is this is like, oh, God. Like, I wish I could tell this to everybody. Like, whenever they're like, uh, this person, like, hey, 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 hey. Like, what, you know, if you want, if this person is really doing something that's bugging you, go talk to them. Stop sitting there and, like, dwelling in your own resentment. Yeah, because that makes you feel like crap. Yeah. And, and, like, honestly, I really believe, like, your mental stress can cause a lot of physical bad things on your yeah, body. Absolutely. You know? So They live in the present. I like that one. Yeah. Live in the present. Enjoy the present. Enjoy where your life is at. That's not to say don't plan for the future. But right. stop, you know, don't play out all these scenarios. You play out scenarios a lot. I do. I'm, you're, you're like, you have to analyze a lot of scenarios. I do. I'm definitely the epitome of live in the present. You are. You are. Like live in the present. Like doesn't mean that I don't plan for the future or worry. I have my worries, but I always, I always tell myself, you know what, dude, this is where you're at right now. Enjoy it. So you live uh, like that uh, famous little saying. You know the saying? Uh, I forget. If you're not living like no, no, it's no, no. Not. which one? I know it. I, I heard it. Which one? You're are you not, about? Come on. You I know. know it's like if saying? you're not living. No. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go okay. ahead. It's something like uh, uh, the past is a mystery. No, no. no. Oh. Uh, the, the, yeah. I heard this. No, no, the past is history. The future is a mystery. The uh, present. The pre no. The give today your, is. Uh, a present, so give yourself no, a no, gift. No, no, no. Today, uh, today is a gift. That's yeah. why it's called a present. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Uh, it's true. It's true. Yeah, copyright Mike Chen. No, it's, <laughs> it's true. I like that one. Uh, seven, trust that everyone, everything happens for a reason. Yeah. That's, that's a good one. I think, that's my whole life, I live by that. You also, gotta. because uh, you gotta. we're both like, you know, we practice God. Buddhism. Um, so. Because you'll go insane if you start to question. Like, you will. Why? You will go insane. You will go insane. You'll be like, why did this happen to me? Why did this happen to me? Why did this happen to me? Am I not this? Am I not? Like, uh, oh, oh, like, you know what? Yeah. It'll, maybe it's not a reason you can see now. Maybe it's something that you see five years down the line. This is why we always say to you guys, it gets better. It gets better. Um, because everything does happen for a reason. Right. Whether that reason is something that you realize and it manifests in front of you like tomorrow or like you said, you know, maybe down the road. Um, Everything does happen for a reason. But I also believe life doesn't give you more than you can take. Yep, I agree. And I got to add to that. You know, we always talk about it gets better. I, I feel like, though, you have to help it get better, too, by start changing the way you think about things. Yeah. It's not like you just sit there and you hate the world and you're resenting everybody and you're yeah. questioning everything. And then you're like, I hope that one day it's going to get better. Uh, no. It gets better because you start changing yourself for the better. Change your perspective. At and least start from there. Exactly. And you, then you'll see why it gets better because this thing that used to bother you yeah. or used to be horrible yeah. is not anymore. Right. That's why it gets better. Yeah. Like this happened. This is something like a lot of you probably that's watching us because I know a lot of you guys, uh, you know, for just from the questions we got last yeah. time, a lot of you oh are, are in, in relationships or <sighs> dealing with some sort of oh, relationshipy thing. It's hard. It's yeah. hard. And yeah. uh, interracial relationships. Right. Uh, uh, have crushes on oh people that goodness. may not like yeah. you back. Heartbreaks. Just everything happens for a reason. Yep. This, this is especially true about relationships. Yeah. Number eight, they don't let money dictate their lives. I think we, uh, look, it, look, that's definitely, I totally definitely, agree with that. Yeah. I think we live in a world now where money does matter in a lot yep. of relationships, yep. uh, which is unfortunate, I think. Yeah, definitely, because a lot, now everything's very materialistic. Like, yes. everybody's really materialistic. And I'm not saying that, uh, don't care about money. No, money's important, right? Because you got to live. Yep. You need food to eat, right? Yep. You need places to live. You yep. got to get around. You got to yep. enjoy your life, yep. okay? But... Don't let it, don't, don't just let your life become, I work for money, I work for money, I work for money. You know, I, what, I think that's what it means. But you know, well, I think uh, there's another perspective to okay. it, which I see a lot in New York, which I mm. did not see a lot in the Midwest. Okay. Which is, you know, uh, if I meet somebody, mm -hmm. I don't care if they have money or not. Okay. And as long as I love them, then I want to be with them. And then yeah. we'll go through hardships and, you know, the good and the bad. Yes. Uh, yes. Poor, richer or poor. Yes. That's why those are marriage vows. Right. Um, but in New York, it's more like, uh, 
So you only make less than a hundred grand. Ah, I can't even start dating you because yeah. uh, I, need when, some, I need a, I need an apartment up. Yeah, when when money becomes a standard of like if you're uh, uh, basically a living standard, I don't like that. You know. But. Yeah, hey. and that that hurts your relationships because right. you know you know why, money is not something that's hundred percent set in stone. Exactly. Like I could be I could have a great job. Exactly. I met you. I have a great job. Yeah. We have a good relationship. We're getting married. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, you I lose, lose your my job. job. Exactly. What do you what? do? Exactly. Because y he can make money now. Economic, she. This is what happened right. in America. Yeah. Economic crisis, two thousand and eight, two thousand and nine. That divorce rate went pow. Because originally this guy was, you know, working on Wall Street, had a freaking yep. six-figure, seven-figure salary, and everything was good. Two cars, kids, yeah. great house. Oh, now I can't pay my mortgage. Yeah, and I these mean, things change. And this is the real test of a relationship: how hey, strong wow. a, re a relationship. This is where the test Ooh, comes in yeah. for a lot of people. Right. Which honestly, it right. shouldn't be because. Right. If your relationship wasn't based right. at all on right. material things, then it's not an issue. Then it's just that whole, okay, I know we're going through a tough time. Tough time, yeah. And But let's stand together, let's work together, and let's exactly. get through this together. Exactly. And that's what a true relationship is. It's not like, oh, you lost your job. Right. Hmm, you make less than me now. I, I now see you in a different light. Exactly. You, you know what happens to a lot of couples back in the day? Um, it's always a roller coaster. Uh, not a roller coaster. There's going to be up and down. So the guy, when the guy lo loses his job, I think a great relationship indicator is the woman goes, you know what? I'll take some of the burden. I have a job. Yeah. So I'm going to keep working. Yeah. We're going to have money to get by. You go find a job. Yeah. And it's fine. Yeah. There's tough times. Yeah. What, you're going to go through life and you're going to be a millionaire your whole life? That's not, yeah, that's not the, the case for like, most uh, people. I, I can't live like this anymore. Yeah, uh, no. We moved from the Upper East Side yeah. and now we're living in Brooklyn. I can't, yeah. I can't live in Brooklyn. Right. Okay? Well, you know what? Then go find a prince. Because they're, yeah. they're always, you know what? The solution is find somebody with old money. That's the solution. You know what it is? Uh, people like that actually annoys the crap out of me because we have a close friend that, you know, he married someone like that. Yeah. And uh, you know what? Yeah. People like that really annoy me. Yeah. Really annoy me. And this yeah. is kind of important to me. It is. I really want to be with somebody who this is not an issue for. Obviously, we need money right. to survive. Right. And I make a living, whatever. <laughs> but I don't want to be with someone who's just like... How, how are you going to find this out, by the way? <laughs> how, how you, dude, do you have like... How are you going to find out? Do you have a survey? You're like, hi, excuse me. Um, what? <laughs> Yo, you should, you should, this is what you should do. You should, you should quiz them. How you should quiz them. You should say... If I lost my job one day, what will you do? You can't. That's not a. That's not a first date kind of question. Yeah, like third date. You know, third day. You know, third day. Mike Chen love quiz. Oh my gosh. You no, know, our friend. Uh, he asked her this question into the relationship. He did. He did. He, the he same friend that we're talking about. Yeah. He did. He asked this question. Oh, I didn't know that. And he basically, she lied to him then. No, 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 no. She told him the truth. Oh really? He asked her. He's like, okay, what? What if one day I became like a so and so worker? Well, right. what, what would you do? And she, well, would you still love me? And you know what she said? What she, she said no. She said no. And he and asked he her why. And he said, she said, well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm accustomed to a certain a style of living. Yeah. You know what? You're, a, I'm accustomed to a good woman. Yeah, so exactly. you know what? That might not match. Exactly. It might not match. It might not match. Whatever. Number nine, looking within for solutions. Wow, this is kind of like it's really, really good. Deep list. Really deep. This one, I love that they save it for the end because that should be the foundation of your happiness. Everything we, we just mentioned can be solved if you follow number nine. Because we both uh, practice this exactly. in our lives. Like in we terms do. of any conflict we yeah. run into. Or Sometimes I do it better than other days. Right. But we, but we both you know, Absolutely. look within is kind of like something we 100% we abide you gotta by. Do it. You got to do it. And, and, and we, it's not just uh, you got to do it with your relationships. You got to do it with your family. You got to do it with your work. You got to do it just for yourself. And, and it can actually solve a lot of those things for you. We believe in karma retribution. We believe yep. in past lives. And, yep. uh, you know, I might have, if you did something bad to me in this life, you know what? I might have killed you in the last life. Maybe yeah. I stole your chicken in the last life. Maybe exactly. I took your last piece of tofu. I don't know. Maybe that's why I kind of owed you a little bit. Exactly. Uh, you never know. So that's kind of like why we always look with it. Exactly. But anyway, pretty deep list. I like I that. I like it, right? Yeah. That's, that's a good, good list. That's good. I like that's that. pretty deep. It's I'm not like... Just, like, just like the typical junk that you exactly. see. Like, Maybe somewhere on BuzzFeed exactly. or something. Exactly. Well, that's probably why it wasn't on BuzzFeed because <laughs> it wasn't, you know. We like our BuzzFeed list, but that's more on the surface. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. Let us know what you think about this. Uh, again, don't forget to uh, follow us on Facebook, mm -hmm. follow us on Instagram, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Peace. Later.